Can you reset the game? Yep. Hey, where do you want to play your football? <laughs> Deflated footballs. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, search Google My Open Source Recording Studio and my name, Jeff Hoagland, and you'll find it. It's on a website called IT Toolbox. Or Toolbox for IT. I forget what the exact URL is. If you can't find it, feel free to tweet at me after this after this is done, and I will be happy to link you to it. Uh, I want a shotgun for the first game here, and uh, we've got a couple of spell snares here, and uh, those are pretty good in this matchup in general. So happy to keep this handy thing. So this is seven cards. Matthew? Yep. Yeah, we are close. I think we're gonna... Why are we shipping it? So I have these payoffs, but I have two pair. And I have this, and I don't have a green source, yeah, so I think I need to remove it. Seems to go back, go, go yeah. back on Tron. seven. The only deck where two pair doesn't win. If I had a, <laughs> if, if one, any of those one of those two lands was a green source, we were snap keeping that bad baby. But Amarcrul did feel bad, but I think that just making them all aggro decks is rough. Like they're mostly aggro decks now. I mean, that, those, those cards are so pushed. All the vehicles, with reason. I mean, like they wanted to put. Crewing and all that, but you can just. They tell. wanted to sell packs so you could buy you can tell. variants. You can tell <laughs> like that it's just all super push. Six or seven? Six. Oh, that's good. That's four. Um, my six is pretty reasonable. I have two different Tron pieces. I have a star and I have that's why I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go tap play and go. Play this star go. I'm going to shock down to 18 and pass the turn. I don't know what that means necessarily. Huh. Guess we could do mana leak, which is annoying. So I'm gonna play this. Um, I'm gonna leak this. I'm gonna do this for green. Sure. Draw a card. That's good. Um, you have green foil. Yeah, I'll use my green foil. Or uh, this is fine to use. Uh, cast Mana Morphos? Yep. Make uh, blue white? Yep. Uh, mana Leaky Rock? Yep. Go. I wanted to cast Mana Morphos there in case we were in chance of missing our land drop. That's not the worst. Yep. I'm going to take one and yep. scry. Uh, snare? Yep. Alright, so we're burning through the cards at least. Um, you are on the play, right? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, Helix you. Go to 21, you 16. go to 16. Oh, missing that land drop feels bad. Go. Things that You're feel saying bad. there's a chance. Huh. I'm going to play this. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Ghost on. Snapcaster. Uh, go. Okay, so I'm just going to take one. Okay, that's a spell snare. <laughs> 15. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yep. Um, I guess I should could play this instead of play it to play around Man Lake, but that's fine. Go ahead. I forget this. Oh, I didn't want to play it in case of so I could scry. Go to 19, go. Could be anything, you just have to reach. Got it. Draw. Um, well, that's interesting. I'm going to take one again. I'm going to go 14. Yep. And I'm try and stick. And we'll counter your spell and draw a card. Okay. Go. I need two cards. Draw. Uh, play a tap plan. Pass turn. I'm going to see you, boys. All right, man. Thanks. Thank <laughs> this is the deck that wants to make it first eight land drops. You're not wrong. Not, not incorrect. Oh, boy. What do I do? This card not good anymore. I think I'm just going to dress you. I'm going to take one. I go to 13. Mm -hmm. A little stack up. You're supposed to make Yeah. That was worth it. Go. Uh, attack for two. Eleven. Good. It's eleven or what? Nineteen. Yep. Jesus, we're gonna try. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna discard this too. Kill this. I'm gonna take one. I gotta need ten. 
Snapcaster spell snare. <laughs> Good. Uh, helix do? Yeah, I'm at seven. Uh, yeah, seven to my 22. Yep. I think I just did. Attack for four? Yeah, three. Uh, bring to light for lightning helix. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I had this the whole time. I just could never get it on the table. Yep. And that, and that game is a great example of why I really like this deck as opposed to a traditional all-in scape shift combo deck is we won that game without ever casting Bring to Light for scape shift or scape shift itself. We just like were a just kite control deck and like beat Maddie down with burn spells. Yep. Spell snares are beating. The snares were very good. I also had my dispel in my hand, which is not stellar in this matchup. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. Oh man, it can stop fatal push. Come on now. Sweet. <laughs> Shove off. Stop your, stop your life. Spell snare's pretty decent in this matchup, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the ex that Especially with brutality. With brutality, it's extra good, yeah. Normally, if it was just like Clasm and your other thing, it's, it's medium. Yeah, it's but... yeah. Me on the play, uh, sir? Yep. Uh, this hand, I wouldn't fault anyone for mulliganing it, but I'm going to keep it. We're on the draw. Like I, I've mentioned a few times today with this deck, we just want to make all of our land drops. So I think I'm happy to keep this and make a bunch of land drops. Uh, for me, I do only have one Tron piece, but I have two rocks and a stirring. I think my hand's just actually like reasonable, so they're not all gonna have Tron in them. Good. Uh, Drew another land that feels bad. I'm gonna go to 17 and Serum Visions here off a Steam Vents. Hopefully, this draws a non-land and scries into non-land. You know, asking for a lot. <laughs> all right, one. one. It's two, three. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna top both of those. Sure. Good. Sure. I'm going to do this for green. Yep. Draw with my green floating. I'm gonna cast the stones. Yep. Ugh. I genuinely don't have an answer to that. We're probably gonna play some more Tron here in the next Boy, that's really next bad. couple weeks, trying to figure that out. But my gut says white's probably still better, but I'm honestly not sure. This is really bad. <laughs> Star to redraw if you have another land? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a redraw. If you, like, if you have another land already, just, like, taking yeah, the redraw is fine. Not the best. Like, yeah. Obviously, it's not as good as another Tron piece, but, like... Um, uh, we have no idea, games. That's why we're playing some games. I mean, it's already spent, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, that... Sorry. Uh, Chrome Coast. Go ahead. Oh, baby. Actually, just makes sense to do this. Yeah, exactly, Fox Killer. You're basically just like Green. doing what your control deck wants to do, anyways, which is make land drops, and then eventually you kill them. You kill them because of it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Manamorphose for blue white and then Manalink. Yeah, horrible. And I have I have all of my colors here, so I think I can just go ahead and do that. Do what I just did. I don't need to lean on Manamorphose at any point. Draw. Feels horrible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fetch Shock here. 14. And get a... Steam Vents, I think. Yeah. Do you need green at all for any reason? I have a green pool in my hand. Okay. Roger that. Get spilled for Tron. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to test this because I think Fatal Push is actually like super nuts in this deck. And Collective Brutality obviously is, yeah, real good. Scry 2. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep the Snapcaster and Bottom of the Land at this point. Uh, go ahead. Huh. Right, well. Star. Yep. I think I'm just gonna eat it. Um, do I want to eat it? I think here. <sighs> I guess. You have both your colors. You could like draw a Tron piece and then yeah, you can get that's the other what one. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Green. That's funny. So I have the green floating. I'm just gonna use it. Yep. Do this, and then we're going to go get one of the Tron pieces. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to use 
use it for something. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and shock to 12 here. Yes. And I'm gonna play a fetch land actually. Go ahead. Okay. Shocking to 12 puts me dead to two worm coil hits, which is relevant. Yeah, something. And it's just things to think about. I'm probably gonna shock at some point, but like in case we don't have to. Jump John to Tron land. Uh, this is for green. Yep. With the green. Thinking. Yeah, it's tough. It's a weird part of the game. I have Snapcaster Mage, but I think I'm just supposed to let this resolve. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Go. I already know, I already know that I'm going to do this, so I'm just going to save yep. us a couple seconds. I'm going to get a basic island here. Yep. And uh, so at the end step here, I'm going to snap. Mana Morphos to cycle. Yeah. That makes sense. And make red white. Yep. In case we hit a helix. Draw. We did not hit a helix. Okay. Untap. Draw. Uh, attack you for two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm at 18. Now. Yep. Huh. And I should be at 11, right? Took three more? Or I you were at 14 and you fetched. Oh. Seven. I fetch. Shock. Fetch shock and then fetch shock. I fetch shock, yeah. That put me to 14. This yeah. put me to 13. Okay, yeah. Yep. Never mind. Going to uh, 11 yes. here. And then uh, this is probably seems like a weird play, but I think it's correct. I'm going to bring to light for cryptic command and bounce one of your Tron pieces yeah. of draw card. Makes sense. And this just keeps Matt off of having Tron so together for a turn. At least one turn, yep. Okay, I'm going to draw a card from that. Go ahead. Celestial Colony yeah, out here. Um, deck for two. 16. 16. Good. Well, we do have this now, so that's something. Yep. I guess I have Mana Leak covered too. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to play a different land. Okay. I didn't realize it had a boy. Go ahead. Snap. Oh, okay. Okay. It also represents Snap Cryptic. Right, I was going to say Snap Cryptic is the thing I'm yep. worried about now. Doesn't change my land. What do I do? Huh. I think it says Karn. Not Karn. Karn. Karn rules. What am I doing? Let's see. I guess this is worse against that. Maybe I'm supposed to put the colony down. I was going to exile the colonnade. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I think I'm supposed to just go after. Your green source? God, that seems bad. I think I'm supposed to go after this. I'm going to go after that. Yep. That seems reasonable. Exile, uh, right? Yep. Yeah, exile. Exile. Yep. yeah. Good call. Go. Uh, Helix Shore. Yeah. That, I go to 14. Yes. Okay. I think I'm supposed to do that. Attack for two. I'm at uh, 14. 14. Good. 14 all. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Sorry. I'm. Back up. I have this. Want to push him? Sure. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm still 16. Yep. That's my Good. bad. I forgot I left it up for a reason. Well, I have another Karn, but I think we're just Karning that away. Playing this. Eat. Casting. Yep. Cast this. Eat this. Yep. Snap Helix, your Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Go to 17. Yes. Good. You have like three cards left? Four, maybe? Uh, four, yeah. Four. This guy is stamp. Draw. Yep. There's a lot of mana. Three, 
Yeah, with red. Yeah. Definitely notice I have Ugin. Ugin, Ugin triggers the Sanctum of Ugin, yeah, which lets him so. go get Ulamog. Yeah. So, uh, fun fun fact, uh, the Ghost Quarter won you the game. Because you couldn't play. Um, I would have been able to path my Sapcaster and kill you. And kill me with that. Yeah, I was thinking that it was pretty I would, good. I would have been able to path. So if the Ghost Quarter hadn't been in play, um, I actually had one too many. I drew one too many mountains. So if I... Oh, you couldn't get... So I couldn't... So normally you can beat the Ghost Quarter by... Uh, Over. You, you, scape, you scape shift and get six non-basic mountains. Then when they Ghost Quarter you, you go get the mountain. Right. But I had drawn three non-basic mountains, which meant there were only... Uh, five left in my deck so i could shift into five for 15 points of damage that turn but you were at 16. yeah and so i was i was one one short yeah i, I figured that the ghost quarter was going to be pretty pretty good during college i was really interested in magic i jumped to Ligger and played regular fnms and local tournaments now that i'm out being a real adult and finding it difficult to keep up and stay engaged MTG. Meanwhile, my collection just sits in a drawer. Curious if you had a stomach. I mean, I I can't really talk because I'm I'm lucky enough to be in the position where that like magic is it's what I do. Like I I take care of my kids and I, I play games. I produce magic and hex and content and stuff like that. And I, I agree, magic is definitely a very all all in hobby. I can't I can't imagine having to keep up um, without spending a lot of time on it. I started playing magic competitively. Uh, my last semester of grad school and uh, my grades that last semester reflect that I started playing a lot of competitive magic that last semester of grad school. Yeah. Only modern today. We're not going to do any of those. New st new, by new standard, you mean us bash vehicles into each other. We are not going to yeah, do any I, I don't. <laughs> I don't predict us playing standard on this channel until uh, we have a new set yeah. or they ban stuff. Yeah. It's not, not the greatest. All right, we're going to mulligan a one-lander here real quick. Hand was so good with the blue source. I have six cards currently. Here's the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to keep it. That's natural charm. Uh, so my hand is natural charm. I'm missing some things. Um, I feel like I just can never get rid of this hand though. That this card's real good in this matchup too. So I. Uh, so last time I played this deck in an actual event, I had a main deck crumble to dust. Oh yeah, I do remember that actually. Yeah. This deck, because Tron was really popular then, and the Scape Shift decks were popular. Bring the light for it. It's yep. gas. <laughs> for it. Just it's gas. Bring the light. You can bring the light for everything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's real good. Okay, that's five, better. six, uh, scry. Yep, we're going to bottom the dispel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go coast into... Um, so I bottom the dispel, but I think I'm still supposed to fetch here first. <laughs> just because, like, yeah... It's it the feels, same thing. And like, yeah, I'm probably going to bottom cards from the Serum Visions. Like, if I draw this dispel, I'm just going to want to... It's the same as leaving it on top of your deck. Yeah, because like, I'm going to fetch at some point anyway, so I might as well just like fetch now. Yeah. yeah. Nothing feels worse than that, though. If I go to college, should I quit magic? I mean, if you're a responsible adult, you'll play less magic. If you go to magic, you should quit college. <laughs> if you go to magic, you should quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think I want this extra land here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to push both of these. I don't want to bring to light till later, and I'm just looking for like counter spells, so go ahead. Tower for this card. Uh, this chromatic sir. Yep. Go ahead. Um. What if I shock? Yeah, pet shock. Fourteen. Good. Breeding pool. Cast serum visions. One that is nice. Not close to soft. It's probably not close to soft, but I just don't want to play against Morgan Beagle. Don't hit my scrounger. <laughs> Yeah. And draw. It's okay. Pick up. Scry two here. Um, neither of these cards are very good yet again. Like basically, like I said, like just looking for like mana leaks and cryptic commands and stuff like that. Is it charms? Go ahead. Please not spell snare. Please not spell snare. Please not spell snare. <laughs> um, blank. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna gain two also. So. Press sure. and gain two. You're at twelve. Yeah. Would you like a metamorphose or a path exile? Uh, the path. Is, well, I guess that puts it in the. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Like sticks in one hand, have yeah. in the other. Yep. Um. Go. Ooh, it's 
supposed to do? I can't play this worm coil engine because we have a pack, a snapcaster in hand. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna take one here. Yep. Scry with 21. Uh, response. Yep. Yep. Make blue red. Uh, counter your spell. Okay. Everybody is a charm up there for the purpose. Go ahead. Go. Actually, uh, I'm gonna. What's the snap serum? Yeah, I'm gonna snap serum for this. Okay. I just can't do anything else. Might as well do that. Okay. Uh, cotton bomb. Actually, that changes my mind too. Okay. Let's play this then. Yep. Wrath of God. Sure. <laughs> Where's my idiot set? Go ahead. Attack you. Yep. I got a six. Twenty-four to six. Yep. Four, go. Mm -hmm. Do you have a push? I do not. Uh, I'm going to put a thing on sure. one of these. The lifelink one. Yep. <laughs> Semi relevant. Dead to push, dead to brutality. You're not, not dead to brutality. Why? Dead to Karn? I am dead to Karn. You have Karn now. They're always dead to Karn, oh, Matthew. Yeah, say dead to Karn now. Always dead to Karn. <laughs> never, never not dead to Karn. Who's not? Yeah, I plan to do more Skyrim stuff. I've really been enjoying that game. And I, I just uh, resigned my to the fact that I'm just going to stream all of it. Just start to finish. Just however, yeah. many, however many hundreds of hours we end up logging. Yeah, they, um, there's people that do them. They call them like uh, Let's Play or You Play, whatever it's called. They like break them all down into sections. It's pretty sweet. That's how I watch a lot of like the single player games. Like um, I watch Resident Evil that way. That game's sweet. And then oh, it's super really scary. sweet. <laughs> it's super, really super, sweet. Super scary. They have that game in VR actually too, which is really nuts. No. I don't think I can handle it, man. VR no way. Like, I'd probably no be way. Just dead somewhere. Nope. Yep, I'm riding the uh, dope train to yeah. screw that day. This hand is really good with a blue source. <laughs> Maybe keepable without it. On the draw rate. Is the game four? I believe so. Yeah, let's keep it. YOLO, hashtag. Seven cards. Um, my hand is pretty good. We have all these things to do, and they're great. Uh, so I have like one Tron land, but I have many ways to find other pieces, so I think it's great. Let's start off. Um, I'm going to play an Urza's Mine. I'm going to play... Don't play map, don't play map, don't play map. Ah. I'm on the map. Go. I'm on the <laughs> map. On the map. I don't have kids, but you can tell. It sounds like <laughs> I do. Um... <laughs> This. I'm gonna right, too far on screen, Matthew. Jeez. I'm gonna scry now while yep. uh, defenses yep. are down. Good. Right on time, blue source. Right on time. Nice. Nicely done. Just how you drew it up. Just how we drew it up. Yep. Tried the VR this week. Sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I figured it would be nuts. All right. I play a ton of Morrowind as a child. Is it my turn? Yep. I oh was very God. disappointed in Oblivion. You played a ton of Morrowind. How do you win this game? Engine strength. Let me have one. God. <laughs> and my mana morphos and that spell pierce you. Okay. What are you taking? Three then? You're at 17? Yep. It has been pierced. I will play this. I'm just going to go do this now. Yep. Go ahead. Go get my tower. And then you're free to go, man. This deck's fun. How can people not like Tron? This matchup's a good example of the the wrong half problem that these control decks like what I'm playing have sometimes. The the game one is a great example. It was a game where I drew a bunch of my spell snares and my mana leaks and like I just 
pushed Matt into the ground without even drawing the combo. And then uh, game two was actually really close. Um, if he just wouldn't have had the ghost quarter, we would have been able to win that one. But like a lot, the, like the third game of this one, we've just like drawn a lot of removal. That's kind of clunky. It feels real bad. I'm just gonna cast this. I don't care about you. Sure, results. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna plus a plus. I want to see your hand though. I only have this. I only have this. I'll left. play one more with me on the plate. Fine. Tron. Tron. Skill intensive. <laughs> One of the things I like about toolbox decks is they do, unlike a lot of decks that are just hoping to draw their one ofs post board against decks like this or their two ofs, is that you know we board in one crumble to dust, we get, get four crumbles to dust. Yeah. Yeah, like Knights of the Old Republic should be the next game. Have you played that game at all? No. It's good. Do you like Star Wars? I don't really do space genres. Okay. I didn't know if you like. Got is that, is that different than Star Trek? Star Wars and Star Trek <laughs> are slightly different. A little bit. You might offend a few people. <laughs> The Star Wars: The Old Republic MMO was really good too. I just, I just, I couldn't get into it because the. I also like, uh, don't content. really have a desire to play real-time games. Sure. Like real-time games, I can't pause. Like Skyrim, I could like pause it in the yeah. middle of like a single Back player exercise. Yeah. yeah. Morrowind exactly. was the king of. It was games. so good. Was awesome. Morrowind was so great. I played so much of it as a child. Yeah. Yep. Me and Russ played a lot of Morrowind. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to play some more For Honor when it comes out. Open betas next. Week, I think a couple weeks that ago. game is just hot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only getting a handful of angers and past exiles. Come on, you would have kept that. Oh, we have two Tron lands. Oh, I forgot I have this card in my deck. Is Knights of the Old Republic a single player game? I genuinely have no idea. Yes, yes. Oh, is it? Okay. It's like, um, God, how would I describe it? It's like turn based strategy. It's kind of like a Final Fantasy game, All right. if, I, if I remember correctly. Eddie? My hand's great. Um, I have <laughs> two Tron pieces, sphere map, all the above, so my hand's pretty good. Uh, my hand is fine. We've got lands and some stuff to do, um, so I'm uh, definitely keeping it unknown. Go ahead. I don't have a payoff, but that's not really anything to this card's messed up. You're not wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> You're not wrong, sir. The Mines of Moria. Oh my. I need I need to play this deck like and not be Burn Guy and be Tron Guy and have all my stuff like somehow fixed to uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Like the Mines of Moria, the tower could be like Mordor the Tower yeah. of Mordor or something. Sweet, it'd be awesome. Cheerios is too fragile. That I believe. The problem with Cheerios is that decks that went on... The, it's the same problem as Gorio's Vengeance. Decks that went on the second turn of the game aren't interesting or good for modern for a lot of reasons, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, why not? I'll try it. Resolves. I have one floating still. Yes, sir. So nice of you. I'll play this card that's going to be good against you. God, that's annoying. <laughs> and I forgot I had it. I had it in my opener. I was like, oh. Send them on a pass, indeed. Indubitably. Let's see. <laughs> He's smart. He's played this game before. <laughs> so Matt's gonna activate his relic. I'm gonna fetch in response to Exile fetch land. Um. So you're at what, like 19? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about what I need to do. What's the next? What's the next steps for me? Um. So I'm gonna do this. With one floating, I'm gonna eat this um, yep. for black. Sure. This, this. I think I'm gonna do this. I need to float one more, so I have one colorless floating currently. Anamorphos for blue red. Yep. There you go. I'm at, you're at 17. I'm at 20. Double green. You do have double green. Probably taking bring the light? I think so. Yeah, it's probably the best card I can do. Yeah. I have one floating. 
Oh, I can cast this. Yep. Uh, I have two floating green. Mm -hmm. Sure. Use it for the scrying. We go get Ghost Quarter. You're free after that. Go and get Ghost Quarter. <laughs> That's so rude. If I can find deck for two, that goes to twenty. Yeah. Go ahead. Where the hell is Ghost Quarter? There it is. All right, I'm at twenty. Yep. Nice job. I'm watching the Puppy Bowl. God bless all of you. I love this. I love this chat. Something. We have all these cards. What do they do? They don't do anything, right? Do you have another payoff, Matthew? Yeah. I ha well, I just found it. One. Well, I have a one coil. Just found it. Just found it. <laughs> I like to say that because it makes you mad. Five, seven. Uh, cast one coil with one floating. Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Cast someone's Yeah. Down, so. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what I'm supposed to go get here. Three, so five, six, seven. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I get. I'm going to get this. Sure. I played the ghost quarter for turn. Go ahead, man. I hope it's good. Whatever it is, I hope it's good. Don't let me attack you. Because I need to win again. Well, if that was a path take, though, we'd have won the game this turn. Yeah. Good. I believe that. Draw. Good time you activated your relic. Oh, sure. Yeah, you get, you get your land out of there. Thank you. Yep. Go to 11. I'm 11. I'm at 26. Yep. I don't even know how I win this game. Sanctum. Yep. Get this thing. Yep. Go. Go. Kill me, man. Can almost kill me. Go. Everything away. Sure. Draw a card. Because that sounds good. Yep. Well, that's a real good one. Is, uh, it, is it a card? That's better. Is it Ulamog? Yeah, I'm dead. All right, we did, did do Ulamog. <laughs> we, had, we had one turn window there where we could draw Path to Exile to accelerate Woo! into the last, last one that we needed to get him. Woo! Yep. And like that game, again, good example of like drew a bunch of lightning helixes and stuff like that. That was not stellar. And that one game where we were one turn short, where a cryptic bounced you, and that would have been like crumble to dust. That would have been lights out. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging out today, everyone.